Say is they don't particularly like abortion, which yeah, uh, they're more than that. Oh yeah. She actually condones beating her children. That's right. Um, and we also have another guy. Is that is activist? Oh yeah, she's here. She's here. She's one of them. This guy, he's there. See one of the speakers. What did he say? What is this? What is the source on this quote? He said it in a survey. On a survey. Sermon. We are affirming it is just right and proper that women who have abortion should be. Prosecuted for murder. All right.
get away. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. I want to try it. For sure, for sure. I've changed my mind a little bit. I don't know if I told you already, but I've altered my position on the abortion thing a little bit. You did? Yeah, I'm not, I did. I'm not particularly fond of it anymore, so. You know? That's what I'm saying. That's always the wrong choice. No more choice. It comes down to affiliate. So I wish I had my I wish I had some stickers with me. I kind of yeah. screwed up. Anyway, he was saying how he was really for abortion, but he was always open to talking, being in the media type mode. Right, right. This is new media. That's, that's what this is. I like how there's multiple new media people around instead of instead of corporate only. You know. Yes, exactly. It should be unthinkable to write somebody. In the same manner, it should be unthinkable to murder your own people. We don't call it murder because they're in rebellion against God. They reject basic human biology. They reject basic human rights. Boss. They got me going. All right. Excuse me. I'm on the wrong.
But it's only good news if you repent and trust in Jesus. It's bad news if you decide to hold on to your perversion. If you decide to continue to promote homosexuality. If you continue to pervert God's created order for sex and marriage. If you continue to discriminate against people who are living in the first months of life. If you continue to engage in pornography. Lust, pride, greed, and self indulgence You can't hold on to those things. You need to reject them. Jesus Christ says you need to, to deny yourself. If you're going to come after him, if you're going to be saved, you have to deny yourself. If you have true faith that, that will save you from the wrath of God, you will deny yourself. You will pick up your cross daily and you will follow Jesus. We're saved by grace through faith, and this is not our own doing, it's the gift of God. Not of works, so that no one may boast. We've been saved by the grace of God. We were in rebellion against God, but the Holy Spirit changed us. The Holy Spirit filled us. And He's given us love for people, so that's why we go out and we reach out to people. We tell them the truth that can save them from hell. We tell them the truth that will save their children from a bloody death. We tell them the love is going to be Wowzers. Today. The church has broken its four walls today. 